Thank you so much, everyone. And let's get started. We start from Lagos. Where the meeting of the governors of the southern state has ended with a communicate demanding, among other things, that the next president of Nigeria should come from the south. The governors have also set September the 1st, 2021, as a deadline for the promulgation of the anti-open grace law by member states. All the details of the communique read by the chairman of the Southern Governors and Governor of Undoste, Ruti Miakiridilu, include the rejection of the 3% equity shares for oil-producing communities, opting for 5% instead. The meeting is also a follow-up of the Asaba meeting hosted by the Delta State Governor Ifai Okowa about two months ago, where they agreed on far-reaching conclusions as open grazing, on open grazing and matters of restructuring. Let's begin with perhaps the screaming headlines out of what the Southern Governors agreed today. This is being something on the lips of so many people. So when the Southern Governors said this is how they're going to go, perhaps it's not surprising to some people. So let's begin with what they decided on the issue of the 2023 presidency. Take a listen uh, to uh, the ad agreement on 2023 presidency. The home reiterates its commitment to the policies of equity, fairness, and unanimously agreed that the presidency of Nigeria be located between southern and northern Nigeria and resolve that the next president of Nigeria should emerge from the south. So that is their stance. There are so many other issues, the issue of PIB, the issues of uh, some of the uh, things that we have seen that the security agents have done today, and also uh, the issue of anti-open grazing law and what they want, the issue of uh, their stance on the PIB and the rejection of some aspect of it, call for state policing, and of course, uh, the arrests that have been made in some part of the southern region recently. So... Let's get started. And let's hear from one of those uh, go uh, governors and the deputy governors who sat today at that meeting in Lagos. We're being joined on the program tonight by the deputy governor of Edo State, who was also at that meeting, uh, Comrade Philip Schwab. He joins us from Benin City. Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency, for joining us tonight. And perhaps we should begin from the very top where we started on the issue of 2023 presidency. The governors today they met about um, uh, less than two uh, of the 17, about 15 of the state represented today, unanimously agree that the presidency in 2023 should go to the south. But you belong to different political parties. You, for example, you are a deputy governor, a second-time deputy governor for, of the PDP. The governor of Ondo State who read the, um, the communique is a governor of the APC. The host governor is a governor of the APC. So this is a majorly a political party affair. How did you uh, arrive at this decision? And will your political party yield to the stance of the governors? <coughs> well, uh, good evening, Shehu. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, the position that was conversed today is the position of the Southern Governors Forum. And that represents uh, what we in the Southern part of Nigeria uh, want for our region. It's, uh, and the, 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 the forum is a, is a political, it's not, it does not have uh, political coloration, APC, PDP, we don't, we don't discuss party there. We just discuss, we discuss what concerns our region. And as far as we are concerned, uh, it's only fair that uh, uh, the presidency this time should come to the south. And when we mean south, we are talking about southwest, south south, and southeast. And we are saying whether APC, ABGA, uh, PDP, the south feels that the next presidency should come from the southern part of Nigeria, flowing from all the uh, the rotational issues that have, uh, we have uh, had in the country. And if you check 
uh, presently, the president is from uh, the north. Uh, before now, uh, we had uh, uh, Jonathan, we have Yaradwa, we have Obasanjo, and when we have to count the military, the, it has been more of the northern uh, people. So we are saying that for fairness and equity, this time, since the presidency is in the north, in 2023, the south should produce the presidency. So, um, Comrade uh, uh, Joao, yeah, okay. So, I, uh, I learned. Agree. What yeah. All right. But the question now is that even in the southern region, there are 17 states of the south in Nigeria. There is still the clamor by a region of the country that feels that they have been marginalized and if this, uh, they think that they deserve to have the presidency in 2023. The Igbo, uh, the Igbo state and the, the southeastern state of the, of the country believe that they should have it. Did you consider that also? Perhaps the issue of the micro zoning, when you talk about the major zoning, which is the south that you have agreed, are you thinking of narrowing it down to a specific region? Yeah, what we agree today is for the southern part of Nigeria. And anybody from the southern part of Nigeria uh, can contest to, uh, for the presidency in 2023. It could come from south-south, it could come from southwest, it could come from southeast. Uh, the uh, microzoning, uh, as we have not reached the level of microzoning. Uh, what we have just agreed is that it is customary and for equity and fairness, the southern part, the word on the line, southern part. And in the southern part, we have southwest, south-south, and southeast. So uh, anybody, any, any, any of these zones, uh, geopolitical zone can contest for it. Uh, the issue of microzoning, it was not discussed. What was discussed is just we need, we want for equity and fairness, presidency should come to the south. Southern so be, part of Nigeria. Because the, the, the issue, again, if you are talking about fairness and equity, so if I take you to a very recent history from 1999, anyone that had come from the southern region of the country had come from the southwest and the south south region. So, and there are just about three regions in the south, the southern region of the country the south south, the southwest, and the southeast. Out of those three, two have had a share. The Southeast seems not to have had it. Because of fairness that you have mentioned, is it fair to allow the Southeast to have it this time around? Uh, uh, so, uh, this is a forum, uh, a forum of all the Southern governors of Nigeria. And like I said, what is key now is to get this position to the south. And when it gets to the south, when we all agree, because don't forget that it's, the presidency is not going to, a, the president will not going to be a president of the southern part of Nigeria. It's going to be president of Nigeria. Even as we demand that for fairness and equity it should come to the south, we must also put into consideration that the northern part of Nigeria too should be part of this arrangement of zoning this position to the south. And by the time it gets to the south, the issue of micro zoning might take its effect. For now, let's get it to the south. That is what we are concerned about for now. Okay, so the question again, uh, Your Excellency, will be that if you're saying this, you should be telling your political party. For example, you and Governor Obaseki are from the PDP, Governor Yinsan Wike from the PDP, Governor Ifanyi Okowa Ugwani, all of you are from the PDP. So the same for the APC governors. Are you telling your political party because the governors are a major block, a determining factor in the decision of a political party? Have you told your governors, I mean, the, your political parties, or what did the forum decide? Are you taking this message to your political parties? Because that is where it's going to be decided. Yeah, so it's our decision. And as a Southern person, the party will have to listen to us. Because the, what we have agreed, we are all taking it to our various party. The APC governors, we take it to their party. The PDP governors, we take it to their party. It's not going to be just a Southern 
governor's pronouncement. It's an agreement by all of us. And that is the position we will canvass in our various uh, 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 national working committee meetings. So, so, so when we go back to our various parties, we must canvass our position. And that is the decision of the House. And that's what we agreed. We agreed that we want the presidency to be zoned to the South. So in our various political party, it, the onus is on us now to take it. And that is what we have agreed. All of us will take that message back home, home to our various party, and our party should know that this is what we want. Beyond the agreement we've taken, we are taking it back to our party that the southern part of Nigeria should produce the next governor. Okay, so uh, the, another issue I'd like to take you up on, uh, Your Excellency, is uh, on the issue of security. It does look like the forum was not happy with a few incidents that have happened in the country, but uh, it's just a generalized term that was used to uh, capture uh, those incidents. For example, uh, the forum said that they would want a situation where if there is an operation of security operatives within the, any of the state, that the state governors should be informed about those kind of decisions of the security agencies. Were there any specific incidents? Because there are now inferences being drawn into this matter. Is it that of Sunday Bo or that of uh, Namdekano? Are there specific incidents that the forum is not happy about? Yeah, generally, uh, without measuring a specific uh, uh, incident, generally the governors were not happy with the uh, the modus operandi of the uh, security outfit, not just the police, the SSS, uh, with, with federal agencies are coming to the state to make an arrest. It's customary that the chief security officer must be informed. Your, your method of the, the method, the, the, the method or whatever method you want to come and use to, to arrest whoever I want to arrest, you can keep it to yourself. But you are coming to that state for an official assignment, and he must know your modus operandi may not be revealed to the governor, but at least he should be aware that you are coming to that state as the chief security officer, they must be aware and, and possibly if there's any assistance he can give, he can give. If there's no assistance he can give, at least he's aware as the chief security officer. So the chief security officer, the method, Yeah, it seems we're having uh, trouble with the connection with the Deputy Governor there, Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Schwab. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for your time tonight and your thoughts on that meeting that you had today.